Okay, so we're starting with the new group tonight. You guys want to introduce your characters? No? Well, we have Malik. <sighs> and Saren. Gideon and Marina. Great introductions there, guys. I don't if like they want, people. And if they want to know more, then go watch our episode zeros. <laughs> okay, then. Hint, hint. <laughs> wink, wink. Go look. All right, so... <clears throat> Get in and Marana. You guys are traveling through the desert, hunting for food. Go. Okay. <laughs> and <sighs> sorry, we're being distracted by Skype. I don't know what you speak of. <laughs> and Celine's looking for something behind her bed. Is there any food in the desert? I have not no that, idea what he rolled. Not, that you, can, not that you can see. Roll, per, roll perception. I'd rather not. All right. Do I see food? You do not see food. <laughs> but you hear someone singing. Oh, God. Yes, you're going to have to roll because you're going to not be happy about the singy singy. <laughs> <coughs> Good fucking lord, girl. So yeah, you, <coughs> you both hear singing. I'm going to go kill the singing. And she stealths. Marina. Hmm. <laughs> Find your sister. Roll good. Roll good. Nope. <laughs> what sister? <laughs> He's just standing there rubbing his temples with his hands. I'm like, oh my god. Find the singy? Yeah, you found the singy. Can I stab the singy? Does the singy get a uh, perception roll? Yeah, good luck. <laughs> You're too busy singing. Do not kill my bard. <coughs> Shut up! That doesn't even hit. Nope. I know. He's got a high AC, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, it would still smack him. That matched. It's yep. still gonna, like, smack him. It's not gonna hurt him. Yep. He's just gonna smack him outside <laughs> the head with it. Tell him to shut up. <laughs> before walking away. Why? Jeep. Walked away. If he doesn't get an answer, he's just going to go back to singing. <coughs> shoot it. I'm not shooting it. Please shoot it. I'm not shooting him. I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> I forgot I actually had a row who took the bow. Yep. <laughs> you have an arrow sticking out of you now. Yeah, I guess that actually happened. Wait, no! Don't 
deflect deflect projectiles. You'd have to roll for that. What is that from? <laughs> oh. Okay. So yeah. I take no damage. <laughs> She dislikes you a lot. Shoot him. If he starts singing again, I want you to shoot him in the head. I am not shooting him. Please? I'm not shooting him, Marina. If he starts singing again, I'm shooting him in the nuts. <laughs> Just continues playing music. Can I shoot that? <laughs> it's not him. I'm not going to stop you from shooting the instrument. Awesome! <laughs> Shoots at the instrument. Breaks can... the strings on the instrument. Yeah, you hit the instruments. <laughs> A 30, definitely. <coughs> I don't know what your instrument is. He has a collection of instruments at this point. Which one were you using? It was... Hey, it's pretty broken. A mandolin? Probably. It's pretty broken. Yeah. Are you going to replace it? No, she's not! No, that was him in character. No, I'm not. It's just... Keeps walking forward, not talking to him. Well, you have very successfully made it so I can't make my living in the next town. <sighs> is it still trying to talk to me? It is. I'm going to ignore it. I figured as much. Oh, fuck. Hmm? Guess the one thing I haven't done before, Malik. What? Spells. Well, guess what? Nope. We're not stopping. <laughs> Spell him as we go. <laughs> yes. I could have sworn I had him spelled. Because I was going to use something, but <coughs> I don't know what he had. To. I really hope you're still right next to me. Don't percept. Well, yeah, you don't see your sister, but you see these two people down here. Oh, more people. Also, That's all she needs. You see something on fire up ahead. Oh, fuck. Can I roll Marina's perception to see if she sees the burning thing? Yeah, you see. Something on fire. Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> you approve of burning things. <laughs> <coughs> Celine, your characters can also roll perception. Working on it. Does Gideon see the dragon? Yes. Wormling. Um, he's going to Hunter's Mark the Wormling. Okay, who was that, Celine? That was Saren. Okay, you might want to tell Brielle, because she can't see shit. Brielle, we have trouble up ahead. Looks like a wormling. Great. Okay! 
Yep, yeah, you notice. Excuse me for a moment while I give Brielle hit points. Oh, fuck. I do have hit points. Why is it not showing up? Why are you... Why do you not have... No. Mm -hmm. I don't think my characters are done. Celine. I need four feet for... No, not even four feet. Goes to... I have it written down on my phone. Give me a second. I just don't think I transferred it over. I'm sorry. Mer. Okay, yes. Alright. Now let's go, Miranda. What you doing? She's gonna go try to steal shit off the burning thing. <sighs> Do you expect any less? Runs into the burning care of thing to find things to steal? Walk around. Does she find anything? <laughs> yeah. You might. <laughs> you grab a scroll. Also, low perception. Hold on. Scroll. That's not high school scroll, computer. There's no one there. Thank you. Just Myrna? Mm hmm Okay. Because you're rolling perception inside the wagon. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, that's good enough. You notice there's black powder in the wagon. Shit, fuck them! Does she know what that means? Does she? I don't know, what does she need to roll for that? Nature? Or no, just intelligence. <laughs> oh! Yes. yes. Yeah. She knows what that means. Fuck. What to do in? Jumping out of the wagon. Good call. <laughs> now everybody roll perception. <laughs> Again? Uh-huh. Sweet. That, that's one. still certain. I will fix it. I am spelling. Yeah, I'm not even gonna roll Brielle. You guys see everything. Mm. Moves this hunter's mark to the bigger one. Which one? Oh. <sighs> Which bigger Danny? one, Danny? His sister. <laughs> All right. And then he's going to shoot it. Yep. Go ahead. That doesn't hit. Um. I don't Malak think it does, but I'm fighting with this thing to make it do stuff. To make it actually show me the armor class. My luck was gonna hex that one. Okay. Wyvern. Yep. Yeah, how about it? Okay. That missed, Sorry. right? Yes, that missed. Thank you. 
Just barely. Hmm. They're right in front of me. I don't like it. Oh wait, you're a ranger. You do have hunter's mark. What? Sorry. That's not who I'm clicked on. <laughs> by the way, that was not who I meant to roll. Okay. As you can tell by the fact that I was clicked on Gideon and I rolled Morena. Yeah. Because <laughs> Gideon's uh, initiative is a lot higher yeah. than Morena's. Because <laughs> that was a start on this one. Hunter's mark on the gold, young gold dragon near Gideon okay. from Saren. Sorry, I'm trying to do about four different things at once. Uh huh. I have up to just seventh level. No way. <coughs> Everybody else, roll initiative. Mm. I'm working on it. Oh, Morena, you just really don't want to be here, do you? Mm. <laughs> Turn him on! I know! Okay. One more. Click on... Don't think any of your... I got it. You advantage on initiative. Goes to look at Saren's. Um, I have the rest of his on my. Nope. Empathic, Adamahan, Delayer, Perceptive, Medic. Uh, okay. He, 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 he's just gonna be sitting this one out. For a round. Okay, but I don't need the uh, wagon to go. <laughs> Or the fire. <laughs> Alright, Malik. Start us off. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Are you... Oh, shit. Okay. I, I... He's gonna... The one he has hexed? Yep. Okay, hang on. Well, it hits. Yes. At 11th level, it becomes three beams. What What does it mean? Okay. What level are you at? He is a level 13 bard, but that's his magic initiate cantrip. Okay. Hmm. And he's a level 7 monk. So I'm just counting his caster. And your last yeah. spell did too much damage. Because if you're only a level 13 bard, it goes by your total level, Selene, so you don't need to break them off, or the last spell did too much damage. No, oh, it did 1d8 too much. It did level 17th caster damage. Okay. Yeah, so it's just... I think it's just been rolling the total level damage, not just your caster level for the whole thing so far. Then it should have only been about. 
just roll the damage for your Eldritch Blast. Yeah, how, how much is it? Roll the level 11 damage. Which would be... 3d10? And Hex. Mm -hmm. That's pretty damage. I believe that is all he can do. Because... Yeah. So, okay. First thing he's going to do is put himself out. My computer. Jared's turn. Now it's that one's turn. Hi, Gideon. Hello. Yeah. Well, you can see that one. Mm-hmm. Gideon, what's your AC? 20. Okay. So those all hit. Um, six. I believe that's 42 points of damage. Okay. It's Brielle's turn. Selene, are you still spelling Malik? Yes. Okay, I keep hearing the thing and I'm like, but I'm not rolling anything. What's going on? Alright, Brielle. Stab. Nope. Don't stab, okay. Young, not the whirling. What's Miranda's AC? Nineteen. Okay. All right. Um. Well, first off, thirteen damage. And then a green crit. So that's 48. And then a red crit. And then it's Gideon's turn. Oh, also, uh, Becca? Yeah? Um... Uh, uncanny dodge. Okay. That halves it, right? Yep. Okay, so. 24. Yeah. Alright. Okay. 
Becca. Yes. Points to Skype. <laughs> also, Celine. Yes. Cantrips go by your character level, not your class level. Oh wow. So okay. you, can, you can roll me one more D D ten for that elder blast. Okay. What's Gideon doing? Um Oh, fuck. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Getting in his AC can actually go up to 24 when something attacks him. Um. Okay. Because he's got multi-attack defense. Cool. Oh, oh for action attack. Oh, getting all right. Well, you're not raging because there's something in front of your sister. Um, <laughs> but he is going to. Uh, you get extra attack, don't you? Yeah, you get extra attack. Um, attack, try again. The thing next to Marana? Yep. Okay. Um, oh. oh. Yeah. He was gonna volley that, but okay. I don't know how he can volley that. I hit any number of creatures within 10 feet of a point once per attack action. Uh, sure. No, it would hit the other wyvern? Uh-huh. I mean, the ver well, yeah, it's a wyvern. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he'll roll Hunter's Mark on the one thing. Okay. Just a D6, right? Just one D6. There. <laughs> and then he's had another set of attacks. Yep. Was not moving. Still shooting the thing in front of his sister. Because he doesn't like it there. Do both of those hit? Yep. I'm just going to roll 2D6. Okay. That works. It's like you're too close to Marina for Gideon to like you. <laughs> okay, your turn. I'm the one in the hoodie. <laughs> yes, Good Danny. Thing. Yes, Danny, you are. What's okay. that attacking? Uh, oh, Brielle. Okay. Okay. Um, that hits. Oh. Brielle has to make a con save. But she fails. Type in her hit points correctly. Don't worry, 
she's okay. Okay. Uh, Why don't I believe that? Because it's best in the character she plays. Yeah. First, mm -hmm. for her first round, she's going to stab the thing that attacked her, miss, disengage, second round, she's going to dash over to her brother. Okay. Then attack the thing that's there. All right. <laughs> Hit and get her sneak attack because her brother's right there. Yep. <laughs> okay. It's in. That one. True. Pets. Didn't Miranda that one? No. Nope. All right, you. What do you want to do? Go eat that thing that's attacking you? Okay. Well, that's not going to eat you. It is going to hit you with its stinger, though. Um, eight points of piercing damage and a con save. Twenty-five points of poison damage. Ow! And it's your turn. Now you can't hit for a ship. Call your damage. You killed it. I killed it? Mm -hmm. Gideon helped you. Sorry, where it was, I couldn't get to the bubble, so. There you go. Gideon, Gideon helped you when he volleyed that one attack. <laughs> nice. Moves Hex to... The other Gideon. wyvern. You could have hexed the young dragon that's right in front of you. That, too. What's he doing? Uh, the young dragon. Okay. And then... Can you do anything else? No, nope, uh, so. no, that was that was your dex. Okay. Good. Keep going. Okie dokie. Um, so, guess who it's attacking? Who, the young dragon? Oh, I don't know. It's got three options. Yep, it's actually going to attack two people. Okay. With fire breath. Okay. Gideon and Miranda. Uh-huh. 
Dex. Evasion. Okay, deck save. If you make the deck save, you take no damage. <laughs> you did not make it. Sorry, so you're still going to take half. Wait. Yes? What? You're not talking loud enough for me to understand you, Danny. That is true. What? That is true. Did you finally get what I was trying to say? Yes. But not say? <laughs> yes, that. Okay. Um, so... Half and then half again, because reasons. <laughs> so you both take thirteen points of damage. Gideon didn't make his save. He did. Oh, okay. but it's half of half. Okay. Because I don't think Gideon has evasion. No. Okay. You are resistant, not immune, sweetie. Oh, giants are his favorite enemies. Okay. That means something. <laughs> hey. He can recall information about them. Okay, cool. Yep. Real. All right. Hey, Becca, mm -hmm. Gideon is actually resistant twice to fire damage. He has a desert aura and desert resistance. Okay, then you can have those hit points back. We <laughs> <laughs> can't do that again, Katie. Oh, so much fun. No, you can only smite once per turn, sweetie. Fine. All right, where do you want to go? Right here. Yes. Dex save. <laughs> Double checking. <laughs> no. Hold. You, are, you are not. Okay, Hold. that is right. going to be, yeah. Half of. You made it to half damage, so 26 points of fire damage. Ow. Okay, and then it's Gideon's turn. He's going to rage. Okay. <laughs> His sister's right next to him. Yep. <laughs> He's good to rage now. Hit. I mean, awesome. Dude, 
skid. Your strength is fucking off the wazooie. Fucking hit. I want it. Question. It, it matched. Does rage go to the attack or the damage? Damage. Okay. I'm mad at him. That hit. Finally. <laughs> he's trying to tell me he's not used to raging. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell. Is that all? Mm hmm. You're gonna fail to actually hit anything. You're gonna go attack Jarrett. There's gunpowder in the caravan. In case anyone cares. I'm aware of that. Huh? Jared's aware of that. Apparently Gideon understands what that means. Hmm? While he's raging. Yep. You're really he's a smart barbarian. <laughs> you're really smart while you're raging. Rana, your turn. Oh, you are a dual wielder. Motherfuck. Stab. Stab. Sneak attack. Let's back and do the damages. That was our first round. Yep. Of attack. Now she gets to do it again. What? Oh! Do paladins get extra attack? Yes. Then she has extra attack, too. Uh, stab again. <laughs> well, you dropped your dagger, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uses extra attack to pick up dagger. Um, hey! hey I have okay? a whole other round of attacks because I haven't moved. The extra attack would have been the defender. The dagger would have started your next round. She does the flashy thing like Nevin. Remember? No. It was the feats she had before you decided no homebrew feats in Alexandria. She has Nevin's slash one slash back. Okay. <laughs> so that's one attack. Slash one slash back. Yes, but the, the extra attack is still only one attack. Oh, she used it to pick up her dagger. She did. Yep. She, so she technically has another extra attack. Defender, dagger. Defender, dagger. That's her two attacks. She uses both per attack. Because of that feat. Okay. I said okay, do something. Okay. I was just gonna dash over here. So she hasn't used her bonus action yet. She was gonna stab that thing. Is it dead? It's dead. Okay, then she's just gonna be like, oops. Ta da! Oops, why are you saying oops? <laughs> He might have wanted to kill oh, wait. it. No, it was Saren's turn. Sorry. 
Siren. <laughs> okay. We get to do something. Yep. Oh, that's not set up right. No, it's not. But it doesn't hit anyway. It's just supposed to be five radiant damage. I know. Goes in to try and fix it. What you have to do is put a five in. Uh, yeah, you put not five in. Five, zero. You put five in the wrong spot. Yeah. And then it's Malik's turn because that wyvern's dead. That would be white green critted every time. Because <laughs> it can't, like, do anything but green crit. Um, <laughs> zero, 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 zero. It technically green critted and red critted. Mm-hmm. And the same. Damn it. I needed to have moved my hunter's mark. Oh, well. It was a Christmas crit. <laughs> and you have a hex. Yeah. Saren has hunter's mark. Oh. Okay. Well, next time. Does that hit the thing directly in front of you? Yes. That's pretty. 30 damage. Getting mm -hmm. also hurt that a lot, too. <laughs> that hits. Holy fuck. Whoa. <laughs> That's such pretty damage. Oh, shit. No, cancel. Cancel, Wait. cancel. Waits for Hex. Alright. Jarrett. No, they've got that. You're gonna go try and put out the thing. Just realized you have Jarrett's last name is Horath. Rarth. Worth. Horth? Horth. He's a Ho worth his weight in gold. Jarrett, Ho worth his weight in gold. Hello, Jarrett. Hi. I wonder if anybody's going to realize that Brielle's last name is pretty much Talison. Well, they will now that you've mentioned <laughs> it. <laughs> Alright. Dear Talison, this is an ode to Becca's love for you. Okay, that Wyvern is afraid of Brielle now. <laughs> Still gonna attack it again, but it's afraid of her. Yay. You're going to go try and have a bard for lunch, okay? A bard witch. AC. Nope. It missed. Get in. Growl. <laughs> Hit! Okay. That matched. The life has a different... Okay. <coughs> they have tougher natural armor than the dragons. Oh. Is that all? Okay. That's all you can do? I think that's all you can do with this extra attack. Mm -hmm. Or does he get one more? I don't think so. Oh, is he moved? Okay. Who do you want to attack? The afraid of Brielle, shouldn't it be trying to move away? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Saren, it's still in melee with you. Oh, damn it! Can I hold that for my attack? 
Hang on, let me subtract Gideon's pretty damage. <laughs> No. I rolled for it. Brielle gets an attack of opportunity, does she? She missed. The one time getting can hit is when it's not his turn. Well, she technically matched, but it, it didn't count. Saren? Yeah? Uh, nine points of piercing and make a con save. Thirteen points of damage. Thirteen? Yep. You're dead. Marana. What do I get? Yes. Everything's just out of reach. She just proves. <laughs> what you doing? Let me see. I'm looking up something she has in her pack. Okay, the one that's near her brother. She's going to pull a star off her robe. Okay. It's a level five magic missile. Okay. Um. I suppose that since she has this robe, I should probably put magic missile on her card. Yeah. Okay, so for level one, it would be three darts, and it adds one for each level. So... I believe that is seven darts. Okay, and that's 70 what then? Wait, okay, hang on. Hang on, counting again. Level five, you said. Mm-hmm. Because it's... Two, three, huh? four, five, yeah, level, that's, that's seven... 74 plus 7. Okay. She doesn't like being just out of reach. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> we can't have sneak attack on it, damn it. Anything else? Danny. Can you do anything else? Yeah, but that was only one action. <laughs> does that hit it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> it's dead. Yay. Three. I've killed three. <laughs> Just Marina. Good job. All right. And Saren. <laughs> well. In case you're wondering, uh, your boyfriend's sister is looking a little worse for wear. <laughs> Give me a second. Did he take... Of course he took it. Were you questioning whether or not you took, like, healing word or cure wounds? I was trying to figure out which one I took. This is the curing party with all the tanks. 
doesn't give me a second. It doesn't work. Sweet. It doesn't Being work. stupid. <laughs> Do that. Come on, Sarah. My brother won't forgive you if you let me die. No porny writing for you after that. <laughs> also, apparently, Riel has an accent. <laughs> Don't know where it came from. Wonder if Ray will have the same. We'll see. <laughs> we will see if I can do a male voice and an accent at the same time. Let's try that again. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. And now she sounds like Dolly. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I lost it. All right, Malik. Mm -hmm. Oh, that hits. Would you kill it already? Do that again. <laughs> nope. Or you don't hurt yourself. Yeah. If Miranda hadn't said anything, you probably would have. Sighs. Oh. Oh. There we go. Jared finished it off for you. Dragons and warblings are all dead. Twins checking on each other? Mm-hmm. You all right, Sarah? I'll be fine. I am. Um, didn't take too much damage. All right. <clears throat> Let's go see if these others need help. All right. Can I use control flame to put out fire? You can use it to move it. Okay, so she's going to move the fire. Uh, Marina is going to use control flame to move the fire. Into the desert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> away, from the away from the exploding stuff. Yeah, and then Gideon's gonna go cover it up with sand. Alright. So, team effort to put out the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, there, are you alright? Oh, just a little worse for the wear. I know the feeling. Oh. <sighs> Those stingers just wreck a person. He looks like the kind of person who likes getting poked. <laughs> Are you two okay? We're fine. Malik, they are both points. capable of healing each other. <laughs> Are you all right, sir? Malik, six yes. points. Yay! She tried. She's better. <laughs> she's better at killing things than, than healing them, but she tried. That's better than nothing. <laughs> no, the twins are capable of healing each other, but they're not. <laughs> yep. They like their battle scars, apparently. <laughs> they're gonna let it go for a little bit. <laughs> they were more concerned about getting the fire away from the black powder in the caravan. Yeah. No boom. Malik is trying to uh, harvest any kind of scales that he can. Alright. Yes. Take metallic roll? scales to a metallic dragon city. You get five. Take a little while and you manage to pry off five. Okay. You're not very good at it yet. Maybe with more practice. Just 
checks out the other one. <laughs> All right. Gideon looks like he wants to try to stop him from doing something so stupid, but Marina goes, let him! Hey, if anybody gets caught for doing something stupid, let it be that guy. It's like he doesn't know the history of this land. I get 10 from that one. So he has a total of 15. So when he gets caught for murdering metallic dragons, we can run away. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Marina's just like, yeah, like a scapegoat. Good! Yay! (laughs) You guys can just see Jarrett, like, digging through the back, trying to make sure that nothing was super damaged. Just gonna stand there and stare at him. Yeah. Why not? Sarah did try to ask him if he was okay. No, I'm fine. Yes, you always know who that is. <laughs> yep. Do you need help? Oh uh, no, I think I'm good. Just making sure nothing was destroyed. Gilmore would not be happy. I highly doubt he would. Yes, no idea if the horses feel okay. It's not an animal ranger, okay? Marina doesn't like animals. No, he's not trying to ride them or anything. He was just trying to look at them to see if he could tell if they were okay. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you all for your help. You're welcome. Did he say Gilmore? He did. Oh. (laughs) You know of the glorious Gilmore. We'll see if she remembers this time around. Her brother's going to try to remind her of somebody. Yeah, she knows now. The one vaccinated. That's what he said to Marina. And then Marina's like, oh, yep, got it. (laughs) <laughs> Perhaps you'd be willing to help me return these items to him, just in case more trouble befalls me on my journey. Sure, we'll help. Wait, what? We're helping. <sighs> okay, we'll help. Yes, okay. Ooh, Rana. <laughs> I can't so wrapped up here watching Rana interact with people. You need to interact with people too, Celine. I know. And Saren just kind of like. Saren has to figure out who and what and where and why and how. He doesn't remember anything. Isn't he a holy good paladin? Shouldn't he just want to help for the sake of helping? Yes, he is. He will. He's like, of course. But he was trying to see if he could remember the names of the people. Well, he can't. But he was going to help anyway. Okay, Malik. Oh, you remember? Of course. Of course. You know, plenty of stories of Vox Machina and their friend Gilmore. Yes. yes. Mm, Gilmore. <laughs> I'm okay. How are you? No. <laughs> In addition to fangirling over Vax, Danny also fangirls over Gilmore. They know this. I've mentioned it a couple times. I also love Jarrett. Hello, and Victor. Then. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> anyway, so we all get into the. You want more black powder? Anyway, I'm set. Thanks. <laughs> so 
So they go. Yep. They go quietly, apparently. Well, Marina done broke one instrument. <laughs> yeah. And Gideon's going to sit up front with Gilmore. I mean, Garrett. But they're all underneath. Come back out. Everybody come over here. Okay. You should be on top now. Okay. He likes to be on top. <laughs> Miranda <laughs> I left your if you're not going to get in Malik is going to go sit next to your brother he's sitting out in the front on the thing that you sit in to do the horses yes but he he's sitting sit next behind to Garrett him. I'm not going to sit next to him there's no space there sit behind him then <coughs> oh fine <laughs> doesn't like the singing guy he was going to do a song of rest while they traveled she does not like the singing guy <laughs> really of course thanks, he thanks for the one point <laughs> Try. So, does Saren have any interesting papers or anything on him? Does he? No. I, nice little letters from Ray. No. <laughs> Dia. <laughs> if he did, they wouldn't be in his pack. <laughs> They'd be somewhere more interesting. A hundred of those weeks, she won't reach for him if she sees them. Wrong perception. <laughs> you won't get them because they wouldn't be where people could see them. But yes. What are you going through my pack for? I'm not going through your pack. I'm reaching to tap my brother on the shoulder. Because you said it wasn't going to be in his pack. She's not going through his pack. Celine. So she literally does reach right by him and tap Gideon on the shoulder. He turns around, looks down at her. I didn't like it back here. Suck it up. Then he turns back around. She's bored. Which usually results in bad things. Brielle's cleaning her sword. <laughs> hey, Malik, full perception. Sitting on top of the black powder. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I want to see if Marina notices this. That makes sense. You saw where it was earlier. <coughs> She's seriously debating. I'm about setting him on fire. <laughs> Evil characters are fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. Oh, yes, they are. No, they're not. Oh, yes, they are. Okay, I need to pull some people off this list. What? The dragons are evil. Cheyenne. Anyway. 
so what's going on? Are we catching on fire? Gideon's on the cart, too. Yeah. <laughs> She'll wait. <laughs> Long journey. Uh huh. Well, if Malik even tries to make it pass with any kind of noise, she's likely to attack him. He might be trying to fix his mandolin. Do you have the equipment you need to fix your mandolin? He does have mending. So he is working on it. Hmm. Aren't these horses going any faster? No. Why not? <laughs> it's carrying black powder, Marina. <sighs> I'm bored. Among other things. Looks around for more interesting things. ready. Should have had it out and open and just ready. I have it bookmarked. Oh, well, you found a potion. It's a potion. It's now your potion. <laughs> Well, others can yeah. perceive, right? Your people really be paying attention to her when she's not harassing them, Celine. You haven't even tried to ask her her name. Malik doesn't care. She broke his mandolin. Brielle's mostly just watching Grout for Sarah. She doesn't really care what everybody else is up to. I forgot. Saren has a animal companion. He's a beastmaster. You can get your animal companion at the next town. <laughs> your animal companion is currently with Ray since you forgot. <laughs> or that. Probably. It'll come in with Ray. Yep. <laughs> Yep. You couldn't leave Rio by himself. Nope. Something had to be there to keep him warm on those long, cold nights without you. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah is <laughs> blushing in my head now. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Do. Marina's gonna take a nap now. Huh? <laughs> Marina's gonna take a nap now. Alright. Gideon keeps peeking back inside to watch her. Eventually, you eventually stop for the evening. This is going to be the quietest ride ever, Becca. Yep. Yeah, it is. Uh, 
so they're stopping for the evening. Yep. Do we need somewhere relatively safe to sleep? That's Malik to Jarrett. I've got a cover, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> yes, Danny? Nothing. Hi, just gonna roll some perception here. Damn. You at the right angle? No, because she moved. What? Gonna roll perception again. Sure. <laughs> Didn't realize she was moving Malik around. Damn it! Get closer. Roll stealth and get closer. Nope. Oops. Oh. <sighs> what did you do? I tripped. Why did you trip? There was a rock. What were you trying to do? I don't know. I just thought something. Do you happen to notice anything weird about the singing man? Yeah, cheat. Have your brother roll perception on him. <laughs> Is there black powder still on his clothes, Becca? There might be. There's a <laughs> dust on his clothes. <laughs> oh, okay then. <laughs> she might have just set him on fire. <laughs> Malik, you're on fire. <laughs> Give me a second, I have to check something. He's giving me the stink eye in the back of the caravan. I don't appreciate that. You did break his weapon, and now you set him on fire. He'll be fine. Use his precipitation to clean and turn and to snuff out the fire. He has it. It's a cantrip. <laughs> It can snuff out um, candles, torches, or small campfires. Okay. This is a fire being spread by gunpowder, which is probably exploding all over your clothes. I don't know if that counts as a small campfire. You do manage to put it out, but you take 16 points of fire damage as you are attempting to put out the fire. Hmm. It's his ash showing now that it like burn the clothes away from that. <laughs> Why do you care? You want to see his ass? Why not? He has some kind of coat on, so you can't see. Like, the coat's burned away, but the pants are still there. Uh, well, all right. <laughs> so your, your no. cloak's a little burned. Takes it off and is looking at it. Sits down and tries patching it. Don't you have mending? Yeah. Is it a magical good. cloak or not? No. Um, he didn't get any magical items. That's a lie. Everybody okay. has something. That are not consumables. Well, I rolled for it, so. He got something. I know. He got two consumables. Okay. But he's working on fixing it with mending. <laughs> I don't like him. He's boring. 
thought Bards was supposed to be entertaining. <laughs> Kenny's just rubbing his forehead, like right above his eyes again. Jared's going around a lot of them, sprinkling dust around their campsite. What are you doing? Protecting us. I could have. What kind of dust is it? It's a little concoction Kill Mark came up with. Dust of tracelessness, dust of anti scrying, just a nice little concoction that keeps anyone from finding out we're here. Are we that worried about somebody finding out where you are? Yes. Would have been nice to have known it was a bit dangerous to be traveling with you. You know who I am. But that doesn't mean there's someone out to get you over here. And besides, I could have done a mansion for us to sleep in, or we would have had beds. Points at the horses. I would have made the door big enough for them. This works for me. Not all of us need smancy mansions to survive. Pompous Jack. I just thought you might enjoy a nice night out of the elements. We're used to the elements. They don't phase us as much as you would think. Besides, do I look like a girly girl to you that needs to be prissified and sissified up in a mansion? No, but I thought a roof over your head would have been nice. Even though you did break my mandolin. (laughs) We can suffer without that luxury. We have most of our lives. But if you need the comfort of the mansion, you can go over there and pop it up for yourself. Maybe those two might want it. We'll stay out here with Jared. Don't worry. Everything okay, Brielle? I think so. Companions just seem to be having a little argument. See, I can't do the accent consistently. It's jumping between yeah. accent and Dahlia. <laughs> I don't know why you're talking about doing accents consistently. Nobody does that. Hi, Danny. Hi. What's up? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and I believe this is where we're going to end. Because I got to sleep. Well, it's only 11 of 3, Becca. I'm tired. I know. It's okay. Brielle and Saren haven't gotten in on the conversation of whether they want to sleep outside or in a mansion. <laughs> well, Myrna did just kind of motion to them and say, I don't know if they want to sleep in a mansion. <laughs> I really don't care. Oh, uh, pretty boy over there, that bouncy. Um, it doesn't look like he's bit much um, outside the temple, if you ask me. Sarin just kind of looks at her. I'll be fine outside. Well, you heard it, singy boy. We're all good. We don't want to mess up any of your instruments out here in the harsh dangers of the night. Shall I off to bed with you? Marina, what? Can't help it if I don't like him. You don't like anyone. Well, that's true, but still. I despise him. You really have no reason to. He sings. (laughs) 
I hate singing. You just hate the fact that they're not as dreary as you'd like them to be singing. No bard knows how to do it right. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> no, just keep going. Go for it. <laughs> Malik's just kind of looking at the two of them. Can I help you? You want to be a blind bard? Oh, no, wait, that's in the other party. <laughs> No, but if you have a request... I request nothing of you but your silence. Good night. Looks to Gideon is she always like this? Yes. Does she ever warm up to people? No. <laughs> Not really. We're not generally allowing people long enough for her to warm up to them. Oh. Well. That's a tough road to walk. Not when you've been doing it as long as we have. Saren starts setting up for the night. Looks to Jared. Are we going to need to keep watch? What it hurts. Okay. I forget to elves get... Do half elves get the abbreviated sleep? Goes to look. Basically, gonna need eight hours. I don't know how much sleep air genasis require. The full eight hours. Okay. Getting you do have. Uh, yeah, you do. No, nobody needs to keep watch. Getting and cast alarm. All right. All right. Getting cast alarm. Okay. So you all settle in for the night. Yep. Mm-hmm. And now we're really gonna end it. <laughs>